on my phone now. I think that. Okay, no problem. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Aisha Benkowski. I normally assist by ease with all of his digital um, campaigns. Um, right now, he's been assisting a lot of candidates to profiling with his show called Know Your Candidate. So we decided we wanted to do a bit of an overview and kind of catch up and, and see how it's been going with Faiz. Hi Faiz, how are you? Good, 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 Aisha. Thanks for uh, your help and uh, thanks for everybody tuning in. It's been a, a busy two weeks and uh, yeah. we still have 28 days left, so another four weeks to, to go for the elections. So part of my journey is to do online support to candidates, and that's why the show Know Your Candidates, but also to actually be physically with them. So today um, I am uh, in the Southern Cape, uh, Brito, Plettenberg Bay to be exact, and we're lending our support to, to candidates here. Yes. This morning, if I can continue, this morning we were in um, New Horizons. Um, I met a vibrant uh, award candidate, Comrade Vanessa. Yes. Um, who's doing amazing work uh, in that area. You can see she's a community person. Uh, she's involved in the school. Uh, they're doing housing. They're building 2,000 new houses as the ANC government um, in Bato. Um, and they're using local uh, uh, contractors, local uh, jobs, uh, youth getting involved there. So she's doing good. And then I went over to the African, uh, the established township of Kwanagatula. So Kwanakatula is the oldest African township in um, in uh, Bato. Oh, There's wow. two wards. And then I met uh, with uh, Comrade Sam, who's a young, vibrant candidate in that area, very articulate, very confident. Um, traditionally, the ANC will win there. So I also gave him a sense that we mustn't be complacent. We must be humble and continue to serve our people, uh, mm -hmm. even though uh, the ANC will get big numbers there. We're asking people to ensure that uh, they come out in their numbers there. And then yeah. I met with uh, Comrade Teenage, who's the youth, I'm sorry, the woman leader in yeah. Ward 6. And again, a, a vibrant woman, She her focus was on uh, job creation for young women, empowerment of young women, gender-based violence. We met actually in a, in a container, in a hairdresser salon container. And she was really good and saying, look, we have continued doing well to help small business job creation, but we can do more. Yes. And then finally, um, I went we, to the informal settlement of Bosischof. Now that is the big informal settlement um, plackers camp uh, uh, in Bato. Not a lot of development there, but I met with our candidate, Comrade Tembalani. Again, he's very passionate about our people. And he wants to look at uh, uh, upgrading, formalizing of our townships in that area. So it was a good mo good morning in the office. Yeah. So where are you off to now? So look, um, I will probably go visit comrades in Outzone. Okay. Um, okay. Outzone is a, there's 15 wards there. We didn't win it, but um, Outzone was also has a proud history of our people and bringing people so the uh, New Brighton and Bongaloetu is the two townships there. Um, and we are very confident that because people are so frustrated and, and angry with the DA misrule in that area, we will win Oatswan and we will do good there. So I'm also going to lend my support to the comrades in Oatswan. And then tonight, um, I'm also coming out to, uh, to comrades in George. We're going to yes. go to a taxi rank and uh, help with George and Mosselby. That sounds so exciting. That sounds so exciting. Um, what do you think the difference is uh, with the metro support of ANC versus our more outside farm areas support of ANC? Because I noticed a lot more people choose to vote ANC in such places such as your West Coast or your or your outside and, and places like Vito. Why are why are the people in metro feeling a certain way to go with the whole? The thing. So first of all, um, it's very clear that uh, comrades uh, see each other, both the African and the colored communities in our rural areas, the non-metro areas, there's a better working relationship. They see themselves as black, they see themselves as poor, yes. and therefore it's important for them to work yes. together. together. They don't fight, they don't fight too much, and they don't use... Uh, allow the DA's divide in the rule and othering. 
to separate yes. them. So I could see her in Pato, our African and colored comrades, all ANC, a yeah. little part of any family. Yes. And we work together and they are equal in the organization. And that's how it should be. Um, yes, they have their identity. Yes, they have their culture. But in the organization, the ANC belongs to all of us. It's yes. the home for all. It's a broad church. And I think that for me is a big difference. We we want uh, people, colored communities and African communities, mainly in the metro, to stand together, to show solidarity, because I think that's the big challenge. Uh, some colors feel that they are better than. Yeah. So therefore, um, and that artificial barriers. But I think also how the ANC has served. Let's be honest, the ANC, our comrades in the rural areas are hardworking. They work yeah. our community, they serve our people, they, they help our community. So it also speaks to the ANC in the metro. Yeah. And, and we need um, an ANC in the metro that is more inclusive. And we, we can see the shoots, the green shoots of that. And that's part of my reflections um, over the last two weeks that we've been on the ground. And that, that actually brings me to the next question is, um, now that you got out there, you, you're going to see the people, what is the advice you want to give to candidates right now in the metro area, seeing what people are doing? What, what do you think candidates should be doing that you've taken from and that what you, your experience is candidates should be doing to win the area? What is like maybe your five top, top things to focus on? Look, I think obviously resources is a challenge. So every candidate uh, is struggling to get the campaign going. But I, I want to encourage candidates that the organization and community has put faith in you. So yeah. you need to use your skill set. Uh, stop complaining about this and that. See how you can pull together communities. I think the key thing now is you need to convince your people why they should vote for you. So it's about getting the people together, getting volunteers together, ensuring that you have a team, ensuring that you have a base uh, office to work from. And on a daily basis, have direct contact with our people. Yes. That doesn't cost money. Yes. That doesn't, it, it takes nothing to go uh, to a taxi rank or where people are and say, look, here I am, and this is what I'll do for you. Yeah. And uh, get your your family and friends, they are your volunteers, get them to, to work with you. Uh, so that's number one. Uh, stop, uh, because you see, this is also a test for you as a candidate. The ANC has faith in you because we know you, but you yeah. need to sell yourself to our community. So the second issue that I want our candidates to do is just go out there. Uh, you are a good person. You're a capable person. Uh, work with, with existing people. Ask people to endorse you. So, I mean, there's a lot of people that know you, the churches, the sports, the religious. Get endorsement from influential people. Yeah. Uh, work with people. Do partnerships with existing. See what's happening in your, in your ward. Um, and also, why don't you do online and at the same time, also encourage... Uh, people to support your campaign. So yeah. I think uh, it's 22, 28 days left. The, the key thing is also there's- It's there's actually 27, it's actually 27 days and 20 hours left. So the time's <laughs> going, the time is going. The time going. Yeah, so look, uh, I think that for me, the key thing. Uh, candidates, you have it within your grasp, the 27 days, a lot of voters have so much choice. So yeah. you must explain to them why you and what you will do, do differently. And I think that's the key thing now. Remain focused, remain prioritized. You know your, your constituency and go for it. And that's all that I can do and encourage uh, our candidates. Be positive, awesome. uh, play a fair game, uh, tell your story, tell us your background, tell us why they should trust you. Yeah. And come across as a, a credible, trustworthy a candidate. Our people will see that and, and give you that support. Yeah. So I have taken the time out to read the manifesto our president released. Um, first question is, if there's people out there, normal viewers, and they are interested in reading the manifesto, where can they go and find this little document? Of course, I mean, not everyone knows you personally, so maybe there's a space that they can go. And how do you feel about this year's manifesto? I Personally, I loved the fact that um, our organization, African National Congress, took the time out to let people know what they've already done um, for people that are for communities that are voting ANC. And um, 
it's it's also kind of good to remind people, hey, ANC has been working. Don't be listening to the fake news out there. So yeah, you can obviously add on to that as well. So look, I mean, I can ramble off all these uh, achievements. Yeah. Um, but I think one thing that was very striking to me was the president apologized to a South Africa and asked us to get another chance for another five years yeah. under his leadership of renewal and unity. Yeah. And cleaning our house yeah. and also at the same time bringing everybody. The people must capture the ANC and yeah. not the state capture. So that's the key message. We're asking you as uh, voters to give the president and us under him another chance. We have served our people. We built four million houses. Yes. It's the ANC that votes for a safety net for our poor. You know, 17 million South Africans are poor. Yeah. And so we provide pensions, child disability grants. You know, the DA with all this stuff, they don't support these things. They don't vote for for budgeting for the poor. It's the yeah. ANC that does it. Yeah. So look, they can they can play the swat for far, they can do all of that, but it's the ANC that cares for for our youth uh, getting education. Yeah. The ANC provides the NSFAS. Yes. More than 10 million people, uh, youth are now, if you matriculate and your mother earns less or your parents earn less, less than I think it's 150, you can get a free bursary. So the ANC has the safety net. The ANC also has that in all of its municipalities, the poor will get a certain amount of electricity and water yeah. for free. So yeah. those are policies that the ANC will implement. It's yeah. the ANC that pushes up the high water electricity yes. and cut down. So if you go down, if you go down in that manifesto, and I'll share it. Yeah. Um, um, people must think about if you vote, continue voting for the DA. But what they'll do instead of doing development for our people, they'll continue dividing us. They'll they they want to only focus on maintaining the privilege, the rich property developers so they what they do is they sell land instead of for building houses they sell it for property developers so yeah. that the rich get richer and 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 i know i'm the first to say that our weakness is implementation and and we must implement we have the best policies yes. and i'm always the very critical that if we just deliver half of what we implement our people will continue renewing the mandate so we're focusing yeah. on implementation all of our councillors will sign performance contracts with the president. Yes. They will ensure that every month they must report to their communities. Yes. So it, it, there's a new sheriff in town and yes. cleaning house. And that's what we're asking our constituents to do, to support us. We need our people. The ANC yeah. is nothing without our people. Yes. I love that answer. I love that answer so much. It's so strong for you. So, um, you know, the president's also been talking about we could get to level one. Um, how do you feel about the vaccination? Do you feel like people are still fighting that? Do you think that the youth are, are kind of ignoring it? Do you think there's a, a, a big backlash on it? Or what would you what would you add to that? Do you think that people? Look, um, we have enough vaccines. We're yeah. one of the one of the few African countries that have our own money to buy our own vaccines. So our country has actually got enough. We don't have the problem where those that really want the vaccine don't have. So yeah. let me let me address the issues. We, we're seeing that the uptake is very slow in the youth groupings. The, the 35 and upwards, you, you're almost seeing, because we, I've experienced COVID already. Yeah. So I had a, a bout of COVID, a lot of my family and friends. So I know that I can play with my life. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that's talking about yeah, uh, uh, this uh, as, 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 as fake news and therefore they're scared. Yeah. So I had the job and I want to explain to you that there's no such thing as metal in this or magnetic or a chip or anything like that. I put all of those things. What it does, it is helping your DNA, your body to be able to identify the virus when you get it. Yeah. and able to fight it. You know, smallpox, yeah. um, those were all diseases that we, I had an in injection uh, for all of these um, viruses when I was a kid. Yeah, we, we were all vaccinated. Did. Yeah. We all did. And it helped us. So, and you know what, Nat? it's just 
people that spreading this deliberate fake news. Yeah. I want to encourage. I want to encourage, especially the young people. Look, we all want a December free of the mask. We all want uh, to go back to our lives. I want to hug my granny. I want to do all of those things. So we can't do that if the majority of us are still not vaccinated. Yeah. Um, and you know what? It's actually irresponsible. Um, because now if I go to a, a environment, I'm not sure that I'm going to get it again. And yes, I might be, be having it, but those that have it can be super spreaders. So my message is very simple. The needle, only men, uh, I know a lot of men are not doing this thing. The needle <laughs> is not so. It is just, um, um, yeah. I drank a panado, a paracetamol, and uh, you rest it. You get the bit of, of um, headaches. You 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 have a bit of muscle ache, but that's showing that the virus, uh, the 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 vaccine is working. So yeah. I'm pleading with with my navy blue eyes to all of you to get <laughs> vaccinated. Um, to the young people especially, let's so that we get out of this lockdown level, yeah. um, and we do it for our, our future. Yeah, it would be it would be absolutely awesome. I am a little bit scared. I will I will admit, but I'm preparing myself. I am going. I'm gonna go soon. Um, if you want last... me to hold your hand, I'm prepared to do that. In anyone <laughs> in the there, uh, we we need to encourage each other. Um, so let's get young people to 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 vaccinate. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So Faiz, do you have any closing remarks on um the next twenty seven days in regards to um what you, what we'll be seeing? and what else you'll be doing for the campaign? Look, I think um, we're trying our level best to convince people to give the ANC a chance. And I, I really want to make this appeal to all of my family and all of my friends um, and everybody out there. Look, you're going to be having a lot of choices. Small parties don't have the capacity to implement. The year you've given them 15 years of, of, of rule, and they've done nothing or very little to our communities. Yeah. Give the ANC a chance. I think for me, that's the key thing. The ANC has uh, uh, got a president that really cares. He's very methodical. He, and he's got a team that is focused on day and night on, on serving our people. And yes, the ANC is the, has the capacity. It's the bigger. So I want to wish everybody, South Africans, get vaccinated, <laughs> but also more importantly, uh, vote and vote for the ANC. And to all our supporters, all our volunteers, all our candidates in the ANC, welcome to the team, welcome to the family. Let's continue motivating. Let's show the, the, uh, our communities that they can trust us, that we are credible. And once we get into power, remain humble, remain focused at our task of serving and solving our people's problems, remain um, grounded with our people. Uh, don't put your hands in the cookie jar focus on delivery and if we if we get just slowly that partnership with our people you can see south africa you know it's the anc that can make our communities better together it's the anc that can create the jobs it's the anc that is is the one that is preoccupied with with our development and growth so that's the message of hope renewal encouragement that i want to give us as our candidates and to all of us Thank you also, as a, a younger generation, you're part of this ANG family, and we need to ensure that we we hand the baton over to you guys so that you can also play your rightful role. Um, and my appeal to especially young people, especially women, um, you are our leaders. Affirm, take your space, um, raise the issues, um, yes. and in such a way, we, we can get a, almost a secondary nation in our country. Yes. So with that, I want to thank you. Let me get on the road again and uh, let me go visit our areas. Thank you, thank you very you so much, much. And thanks for coming. Thank you so much for you so chatting with me. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Can't wait to see who you get to talk to it. Um, yeah, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Good, so, bye. So tomorrow we'll focus on um, maybe more rural candidates. Um, so tomorrow and this week, we'll try to get uh, uh, watch the space. We'll be surprising you tomorrow. We'll get some <laughs> young, energetic, uh, rural comrades to, to be part of the program. Thanks again, Aisha. Th thank and you. Bye. Off.